thing we'll see what are the different platforms which supports the Cisco IOS XR uh, image. So there are three different platforms which supports like CRS, Carrier Routing System, and XR uh, 12,000 series routers. Now these routers are typically end of sale now. You don't find much details on the Cisco website. Here I have shared some of the links which will be useful for you to refer. And the next thing there are Cisco ASR 9000 series routers. Now these are the typical routers which will be covering in most of the service border tracks. Now starting with the Cisco uh, CRS, uh, like CRS1 was the first platform which, uh, which, which used the Cisco IOS XR image. Uh, it's a it's a router which is designed for next generation internet uh, inside the service border to deliver some high speed data voice and the video services specifically majorly for internet high speed internet connections whereas the cisco xr12000 was introduced to for the service border core networks and now this these specific routers are replaced with cisco asr9000 series which are generally used inside the service border core networks which which also capable of providing high high speed carrier ethernet services in general like metro ethernet and which can scale up to 6.4 tbps per per system or per slot now if you want to compare this i got all these links open here the first one here you can see this is this is the link which shows you the details about the crs routers now there are different different models or the platforms you will see uh, and again the crs4 crs8 and crs16 systems the number of slots they support the more uh, more number of ports or the more throughput generally they can they can offer you and of course the size also will increase like the capability to support up to 1.12 tbps in the case of uh, 4 slot 1 8 slot 16 slot and this one so similar way you can see this is this this link shows you some information about the carrier routing routing systems these are specially designed for providing uh, high end performance high speed internet in general uh, connections so you can you can just go through with this uh, cisco resources where you'll find all the details uh, this, this is a link for ios uh, xr12000 series routers now these are like end of life so you don't find much information on the cisco website because cisco has stopped producing these routers now like you said cisco announces the end of sale and the end of light dates for the Cisco XR12000 series routers. Like you can see, this is the date when they announced. And the people who are actually using, they do support for the couple of years later on. And you'll find all those information here in general. Now the next link here, the, the link which shows you the different platforms Cisco ASR supports. Like here you can see Cisco ASR9000 series. Again, in the 9000 series, you have a 9000V, so which is like a virtual image which you can install inside the VMware and you can get the benefits of of the physical physical router. Of course, it do it do have some limitations when compared to the physical box. And then you have different platforms like 9001, 9006, and 9010. They, these all models actually you can see the different features and the details you you'll actually see here like the size and the weight and of course uh, the throughput but that is one of the main thing so how many processors it actually supports and then you'll also see the throughput actually throughput is nothing but uh, you'll, you'll probably see more information i think you can get into some technical specifications to see some of the more more details about these individual platforms now you can also go through with something called 3D view like most of the high end devices from Cisco they offer some 3D model view where you can click on these links to get the 3D view of a specific uh, model like this is Cisco ASR9000 series routers you can see the specifications and how exactly it looks so probably I'll cover a separate video on uh, explaining some of these components which are uh, typically used and what they do in general so i'm not getting in much about the physical components here but just to give an idea where you can see the specifications and also you can uh, see what are the different components and you can just click on that link to remove the card which will give a, a better view of how exactly these devices how to exa how exact devices and what are the what are the different cards they support and the features and the specifications 
you can actually find in this in these views. Now, this 3D view is really uh, useful for the for the companies before they decide the product. They can just have a look uh, uh, to these animations, which will help them to understand the products in a, in a more better way. Again, Cisco ASR1000, we, we don't really get into this ASR1000. 1000 aggregation routers are also specially designed for service products, but they do run a Cisco IWAS XC in general. That is a operating system which they run in general. Now, these ASR, ASR routers are specially designed for, for the service products, which are typically used inside the service product core. And they do offer very high speed Ethernet services because most of the WAN connections in today's networks goes over Ethernet and they are uh, highly scalable, which can support up to 6.4 TVPS per slot. And depending upon the number of slots that router supports, like high end routers, the more throughput can be we can get uh, from these routers.